What's up y'all, Jacob Bones here for the Buff Nerds and today I'm gonna talk to you guys about how you can get the anamorphic look or a anamorphic look for very, very cheap. So, uh, recently at Prism Lens Effects we just designed a new line of filters that screws right onto your camera. One of them is an anamorphic filter. So we're all about creating in-camera effects. It's the best way to do things in camera, real, it in interacts with your environment and what's going on instead of trying to do everything in post and artificialize everything. Um, and so a few you know, of the new products we've developed are filters that you can screw onto your fo photography lens, your, your, your video camera, your red camera, with DSLR, whatever it is, uh, to get some really cool in camera like flares, light leaks, um, and different kind of effects for photo and video. And one of which, which I'm most excited about, is our chromatic anamorphic flare filter. So what I wanna do is just briefly explain it, but before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys some test footage of it in action on my RED camera um, when we were in Hawaii and let you guys see basically that you can get an anamorphic look with just a little filter. guys enjoyed that footage um, you know we're super stoked on what you know we've created and what we're able to get and how we're able to bring a creative new way to get animal like an anamorphic look but for very very cheap you know anamorphic lenses are extremely expensive to buy um, and extremely expensive to rent it's not easy and most anamorphic lenses are cinema lenses and aren't there there aren't anamorphic lenses for like DSLRs smaller cameras um, and so we wanted to create kind of a filter that allowed you to get an anamorphic look, um, but without breaking your bank. And so this is what we've come up with. We've come up with a few other filters as well. I'll link everything in the des description below. You can go check it out, but we're just super amped that, you know, we're able to basically, we love shooting anamorphic. Anytime we can shoot anamorphic on any of our films, commercials, music videos, anything, we try to do it. Um, so the thought, you know, going into this was like, let's create an anamorphic look, um, you know, for everybody. And so that's, that's what we've done. And we're super excited about it. And hopefully you guys are too. What's one cool feature about it is it is on a polarizing tray. So you can rotate the filter to get vertical lines, horizontal lines, and just kind of really mess with it. So it's not fixed and locked into position. You can really mess with it, move it around. You can keep on rotating it if you wanted to throughout a shot. Um, you can get really creative with it for, for photos or for video, it works for both. And so that's one of the main features. We wanted to make sure it was able to rotate so you could always move it and it wasn't just locked in a position. Another thing that's really cool about it that a lot of anamorphic uh, you know, flares don't do is the flare is usually locked at one color, right? So your flare for that lens might be like a bluish streak or something a little warmer, a little more orange. Well, the, the glass that we've used in the flare part of the filter is diacro di diacroic. So it's a hard word to say, diacroic. And it actually can change colors depending on the light and angle that it's hitting the glass. So sometimes you may get a blue filter, sometimes you may get like a pinkish purple filter, sometimes you may get a red. It just, it's always kind of changes depending on how the environment interacts with it. And that's also another really cool feature that we're stoked on. But yeah, that's all I have to talk to you guys about today. Super amped on it. If you want to learn more, Again, description below, check it out. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds.